Right, welcome back to the channel and what is a special edition is in fact part two of my break 40 at Dundon Lynx and the reason it's a special edition is quite simply I managed to play level par for the front nine. That was a surprise, very unusual and I thought I'd carry on recording the back nine and just see if I can possibly break par, maybe make par or certainly stay close to it. Stay around, this one's going to be interesting because Dundon Lynx is an extremely exciting and very enjoyable back nine, or at least the open is. Now before we kick off on the tee, just a reminder of what is in my bag, but I also want to mention that I've got an addition of another driver this time around for the back nine, which actually comes into play, so worth mentioning, it's the PXG Gen 6, and I'll give you my explanation and reasoning for that as we go around. Anyway, 10th hole, don't forget I'm level par, 375 dog leg right to left and I've started off with a real solid ball which is on the tad yeah. of greedy if you like from there but uh, we've got plenty of room uh, to play with but still leaves a long iron in which was uh, a seven as I recall right at the flag even though I could only see the top of it but um, just a little bit short you can see the accommodation that um, Dundonald in the background there which is fantastic uphill put um, and trust me it's quite severe uphill you can see the sort of climb there and clearly I'd not given enough so can we continue the good work with the mez solid stroke and there you go we started off we are still level par through 10 holes now then that is not me that is my dad and uh, yes he's playing 120 yards with a driver he's got a huge slice in there oh wow, oh, wow. That's pen eye, you really spun that as well. Hopefully you picked up some audio there from me, which uh, was fantastic, because he stuck that, believe it or not, to about 10 feet. I'm playing nine iron, it's into the breeze, and tugged it down the left, as you can Go. see. Go, sit there, sit there, sit there. Yeah, just about held it, didn't it? Go. So we've, yeah, just about held on. It's an awkward little putt over the rise and then down into the valley. Just get the pace right. So for a birdie, his 80th birthday celebration and um, I think he'd be fairly pleased if he was to roll this one in. Go on, go on. Oh, he's got it. Well done. What a birdie. Fantastic. But for me, it's a par it's um well, i don't know these ones can be awkward but again just that positive stroke of the mares keep it square and we are still level par it's getting interesting hole 12 330 out to the isle of Arran in the backdrop there um unfortunately mine has been pushed out right okay so the first thing to note is in a month or two's time you ain't getting away with that one quite as well as i did this heather would uh be a lot heavier I'm sitting okay, but I've played from this stuff before and it can be really deceiving where a ball looks okay. But there's a tendency, if you get this wrong, just to go straight under it. Need a good shot to get me back in the game here a bit. See, it just fills you. Get up. Okay. Yeah, very deceiving stuff, that is. Okay, right. We need... Uh, a rescue shot here and this is not easy trust me come on be positive go 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 get up get up we could have a chance of saving a par again here you know well that's a bit ambitious about saving par we're a lot further away than i thought i was a good effort wasn't it good pace but yeah First bogey of the day, that, you know. <laughs> right, on to hole 13, and there is a change of driver. That's the PXG Gen 6. And worth listening to the comments. Yeah, yeah. See the uh, difference in the spin as well, moving forward, isn't it? Really important to try and get it on that top tier. Can you see how severe that is? That pin is... I think that's about as tough as they can get it. Yeah. 
Sit. Do you see where it's finished? I think, well, it's disappeared because it's gone over the bunker, but as long as it's sat down, it's on that top level. What clever golf design is all about. Don't want to be short, go long, and well, you've either got a pop bunker there or huge runoff, which I've ended up in. Come on. Ah. He's got it. What a save that is. Oh, I've had a few of them today, but that was uh, starting to just unravel a bit. Wouldn't want to go bogey bogey. So hole 14 is par five. You can basically let rip at this one. Not too much trouble either side. Ah, oh, it's best drive of the day, that. That's the best drive of the day. I think that's the best drive of the day. So next shot, this is with a five wood PXG Gen 6. Absolutely ripped that thing to be honest with you. Ah, confidence is a huge thing in golf, isn't it? Well, this is a real interesting one because um, there's almost like a false front on this one. Um, and I'm quite low down in the dip. I'm playing it with a 54 balls back in the stance it's been fired forward and um, yeah, at that point, quite excited that I think I've probably got a chance of getting that one close, which I did. And left a fairly straightforward 10 footer uphill. It moved quite a bit, didn't it? Yeah, it moved a little bit more than I thought, but uh, we made par and at this stage still hanging on to one over. Hole 15, super par three, but extremely difficult. 170 to a raised green. Plenty of protection with some big bunkers as well. At this point, I think I'm heading in one. Oh. Not quite bunkered, but a nasty chip. No green to work with. Got to get over that bunker face. Grab. Come back a bit, come on, come on, come back a bit. Unfortunately, it didn't come back uh, off of that slope, and this leaves a fiddly one back down the green. Important you get the pace right. Don't forget, this is for a par. God, I thought it was going to swing like a bloody mile, eh? So, another bogey on the card, I'm afraid. Well, this is a monster. This is a par four, 447 yards. And there's a group of people stood in the middle of the fairway, would you believe? It's down the left though, isn't it? Way past them. They're right in the middle of the bloody fairway. I mean, I don't know what they're doing. And they weren't golfers. Nice. <laughs> Which I blame for forcing me down that left-hand side. Um, it wasn't a great drive and it's still left um, two, 240 in, which I hit five wood a uh, little bit floaty, 200 yards probably because I still had um, another, so I think this was 45, close to 50 yards into the flag. And this is stroke one and uh, good reason as to why it is. Nice little clip there with a the pitching wedge, quite controlled on aim, but yardage not quite right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And again, severe uphill putt. which I am really pleased with. That's a real good pace, but to be honest with you, 447 par four, you know, it's close to playing um, par five. Right, a little bit of an update for you. Uh, through 16, just gone three over that was, and uh, lost the game a little bit, or swing-wise. Driving has been really good. I've never been quite on with me irons all day, even though I got away with a few, but uh, yeah. Long game driver, fairy woods, been really good. Short game, again, saved me a few times. Just hasn't been able to do it on the back nine. It's played, just played tough. The thing is with these sort of championship courses is you don't need to do a lot wrong 
and you're going to get punished. You ain't making, you ain't saving pars. And unfortunately, I've not been able to do that. So three over, a little disappointed, two to play. I just want to par those last two. There's a, there's a par five, 18 as well, which is an outside chance of birdie. Right, let's get finished on a high. So that 17th tee, it weaves its way from right to left. Again, that Gen 6 driver, it's a much lower ball flight, much more penetrating ball flight. And yet I've turned it over just a little bit too much, as you can see, and come into a rather awkward lie in the rough. Not got a lot to go though. I think it was sort of 120 in, I just stabbed at a wedge. And it was really a case of trying to find the green because the bunker was protecting that pin. At this stage, the camera had fell over just two seconds earlier and the audio is switched off. But what I did see is I've not held a long putt all day. And this was to be the one. And if you can lip read, I said, can you believe that? Because no, I couldn't. It looked in all the way and I thought I'd actually said the immortal words that, uh, yeah, it persuaded me to hold that long one, but never mind, it was another par. So we're stood on the last tee and yet again, it's Gen 6 driver. We're all out in terms of trying to get this ball as far down as we possibly can. Don't forget three over at this stage on the back nine, level par for the front. So a really good round, but um, we've got a chance here. This is a par five. I'm gonna reach for the five wood and we're gonna hit this as hard as we can. It's a very clever designed hole as uh, just in front of the green is a burn. And I've uh, yeah, really picked that up very well indeed. Hit the five wood of the gen six, really, really good. Got a nice little kick off the bank here. And uh, as you can see, just pulled up short of the burn. Still a long way to go to the flag. And my choice in that type of shot is always to keep it on the ground as soon as I can or get it on the ground as soon as I can. And a nice chip and run in terms of pitching wedge. So we're putting this a par five, don't forget. So we are putting for birdie. Yeah, one of them you kind of know you've got it as soon as it's left the club face. Another positive stroke with Mez. Confidence so high with that putter and uh, rolls in a birdie to bring it down to plus two overall and uh, absolutely delighted to have shot that kind of score around a fairly blustery day um, on a championship links at Dundonald. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed part two as much as you have been doing this series of break 40 so far. I've got more to come from Dundonald links in the days ahead. So uh, keep tuned in. And uh, we've also got another real interesting break 40 coming to you very soon. Right. Thanks as ever for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow night.